Hello my dear crafters, today I'm going to make a very quick video because this was a request. I, I'm sure you remember that I showed you these two. There was a bigger one uh, with this kind of design too, but I already <laughs> took it to a party and gave it away with a, with a bottle. And she was asking me, Paula, how do you make those wine? I don't even know how to call these wine. Um, I don't know, decoration? pieces. <laughs> so I am going to teach you how to make this uh, because I really did, did, had not prepared a tutorial for this but I decided to. I cannot find her comment anywhere so this goes to you. I can't remember your name so it's very easy actually. It's, it's more a matter of dimensions but before I show you how to do this I just want to show you some of the gifts because now I am in gift mating mode making mode and I've been working on that so I'd love to show you some of the stuff that I'm making to give to my friends so this one is a it's just a notepad these are those Dollar Tree small very tiny notepads so I just made this holder here with a little pen look at that and the other thing that I've been making, actually yesterday I made like three or four. I'll show you those. I don't know if you're familiar with this. It's called the cinch. This one is actually the mini cinch because that's the one I have. They, it actually allows you to make notebooks because it binds them. It cuts these holes and then you can bind them. And that's what I've been making. I went to... Um, with my in-laws, we all met, we had like a family meeting in Yellowstone. So what I'm making is, I am making some notebooks with, uh, these were cards that I, these are like not gift cards, but what are they, postcards. So these are postcards that I got and I already knew then that that's what I was going to do with them. So I'm just making some very personalized because we were there as a family and I'm making these for them. Let me show you what I do. This I love this one. So you can you can just that's what I love about the cinch because then you can personalize. You can do this on the side or on the top. So it depending depending on what it is. This is another one that I made. This one is for my husband actually. He doesn't know because he loves these old style um, trailers. And this is for my dear Catherine. This I made for my sister-in-law and with this one on the back I just made like a note it'll be like a card and I made a pocket it has a pocket here too if she wants to use it for like you know whatever daily things like re receipts and stuff so that's what I've been working on guys if you would like I can teach you how to use the cinch so you can see if it's something for you but I'm having so much fun guys because you can personalize this with a picture and just make it the way you want I have different sizes and this is another one because we I went to Zion as well and I made one for somebody else so yeah so I've been I have been working hard on making gifts but let's get to business right so this one is made for a little tiny bottle like this this is a small bottle I use a one and three quarter size hole here because it's not supposed to to get stuck in the middle so that it goes all the way down but it can be a little smaller if you have a one and a half I think would be better I don't have one so that's what what you do and you just kind of embellish if you're going to take it to someone a bottle of wine and you embellish that with that and you, I use here double-sided foam adhesive so you can just kind of glue it there so it doesn't move around and also what I do is I usually face I use I use this on the back because people like to look at the bar at, at the label so you don't cover the label so you can go yeah this is the kind of wine and this is the decoration so that's the small one 
and this one is for the big bottle like the 750 milligrams right so that's it it can be a little longer it depends it's personal preference and again it's one and three quarters here so let's do that this is basically what you need to know here and i'm going to try something new with this one let's see if that's going to work okay so what you need is a piece of paper i already have this on my stash but with just so you know the big one is 10 and a quarter that's that's what we're gonna do here today so let's see if this is the right size 10 and a quarter i'm gonna cut that by three three inches so 10 and a quarter by three so i'm gonna cut that so basically you can get four out of a 12 by 12 paper um, sheet so that's very nice oh i have something else to show you in terms of gifts but i'll show you later because now we're down to business right so we're going to score at two and three quarters right here and that's it guys you're done <laughs> this is the fastest tutorial in the history of tutorials yeah, but I just wanted to make sure that I answered my dear subscriber that I can't remember the name. And here, I usually round it because I like the way it looks. So I'm just going to round. I love this little rounder because you can take anywhere. It's very, very nice. I'll have the link below, okay? In case you're interested. And now it's just basic decoration. I'm going to do something very simple because... Where is my glue? okay because i this is not what the video is about you guys know how to decorate so just so you know we're going to decorate here so i'm just gonna do this just gonna hold it with my punch and of course my glue is stuck and i'll be right back <laughs> okay i'm back with a glue that works now <laughs> so this is going to be very simple decoration just so you get one more idea on how to decorate it but it's nothing really very elaborate i just wanted to make sure that i gave her the answer so i'm going to just line it up here i have a few of these not the best decoration in my in my life but that's fine okay we are going to add one of these very nice. My dog is going to go nuts now. I can hear that happening. My husband is coming in. So this is what you do. So you just, just edit this. And as I told you, I use a one and three quarter punch. But I really think that one and a half would be best. So you just kind of align it like this. And that's it. You're done. So all you need is this hole. You can decorate this if you want to. Sorry about the noise. My husband came in and I didn't want to stop because I have so much to do. <laughs> so this is it. Oh, oh, this is what I want to try. Because I find that even when I put the, the foam, the double-sided, the, the, like the, this thick foam here, sometimes when the bottle is very cold, it's hard to do that. So the idea that I had, and let's see if that's gonna work. I don't know, we're gonna try. I'm just gonna eyeball it. So I'm going to cut two, two uh, holes here and I'm gonna use a ribbon. We'll see if that works. I'm just eyeballing it, guys. So there's one. Uh, there's another one, so I have two holes here. You can use round ones. And what I'm gonna do is, here's what I wanna do. Just to make sure that it doesn't move around, I think we can use a ribbon like this. So let's do that. Come here, bottle. Let's see if this is gonna work. I think it will, I mean, why not? So you just kind of put it around the bottle and this will guarantee it not to move. Such a big piece of ribbon that I used, but that's fine. And we're going to tie a bow. So you add a bow to your thing, which is very nice. 
A bow is always good. So there you are, I'm making a bow here. I think this is something nice that you add to it actually. I had this idea the other day because I took this to a friend's house and it was kind of not holding the double-sided foam adhesive. So it depends on if your bottle is or is not cold. So there you are, you add a bow, so why not? There you have it, very quick to make. So let me give you, I will have the dimensions below and I'm just gonna put this aside and I'll give it the dimension for the little one is eight and a half by two and a half, okay? And you're going to score it two and a half and you're done. The last thing I wanna show you is one more gift that I prepared for these kids that I absolutely love, absolutely love. Look at this. I made some, some notepads. These are notepads that I bought at Amazon. And look at that. It's a beautiful mermaid paper that I have. So I just decorated it and I made like a kit. This is the second one. This is the Dollar Tree uh, one. And again, you just decorate it in the little tiny one. Look at that. I love it. Use some Velcro. That's just a post-it note. But look how beautiful this gift is. I'm just going to give it like this. And I have this pen that I got at the Dollar Tree. So you put the pen there. And she loves mermaids. And of course, that's why I'm giving this to her. So, yeah, just showing you some more of my gifts. And that's that for today, guys. Have fun, and I'm sure you're gonna make tons of these. They're so quick, and it does add something to that beautiful bottle of wine that you're bringing to a party, doesn't it? Look at that. So thank you so much for this, uh, and I will see you next.